Hello students, welcome back. <coughs> Lines and angles. Yesterday we have discussed the basic terms in geometry. I explained to you basic terms in geometry. What is line? What is line segment? What is ray? Collinear points, concurrent lines. Okay, we have discussed this all. And uh, types of angles. In that, acute angle less than 90 degrees. Right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees. And uh, straight angle equal to 180 degrees. Reflex angle greater than 180 and less than 360 degrees. Okay, on total complete rotation 360 degrees. And we discussed uh, supplementary angles and uh, complementary angles also. Two angles whose sum is uh, 90 degrees complementary angles, whose sum is 180 degree supplementary angles. And we have discussed the uh, adjacent angles also. What is mean by adjacent? If two angles have same common arm, having the common arm, both sides of the, either sides of the common arm are called as a adjacent angles. If adjacent angle sum is 180 degrees, then the angle is called as a linear pair angles. Okay. If two lines have the no common point, those lines are parallel. If they have one common point, intersecting lines. If two lines are parallel, another intersecting line, that line is called as a transversal. Then totally there, eight angles occur. And the corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> same side of the transversal, consecutive interior angles, consecutive exterior angles. Okay, these types of angles occurred. Yesterday, I explained to you. Today, coming to our topic, I'm going to explain exercise 4.1. In that first problem is here. In the given figure, name points, line segments, rays, and the lines. Here the figure given like this. Yesterday, I explained to you, how can we denote ray? How can it denote line? How can it denote line segment? How can it denote point? Okay, now. Yesterday, I explained to you. Coming to the topic. First one, here the question is given. Any six points in given figure. Any six points in given figure. Listen. Any six points. Here the points are. A, X, M, P, C, Y, N, Q, B, D, E, G, F, H. These all are points only. But here we need uh, only six points. Write down those. A, X, M, P, and another one, B and uh, C, so on, etc. And uh, any five line segments, any five line segment, listen, from A to X, one line segment, so we can write uh, AX line segment, XM, XM, another line segment, MP, MP and PB, PB, and we can write a AM, AP, AB, okay, and CY, we can write number of line segments, okay, we need just five line segments, I wrote here, and any four rays, okay, yesterday I said to you in previous class, Ray is denoted by like this. For example, A B ray. It can be denoted like this. Here is an end point. Okay. This line moves this side endlessly. So it can be written as XA ray. 
एक्स ए रे ओके एंड यम ई रे यम ई रे एंड पी बी रे स्टार्ट एट पी एंड पॉइंट हैज पी एंड मूविंग टूवर्ड्स बी एंड सो ऑन पी बी रे एंड पी जी रे पी जी रे ओके वी नीड एनी फोर एन एफ वै सी रे क्यू डी रे एन एफ रे वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस एंड एनी फोर लाइन्स एनी फोर लाइन्स लिजन ए बी लाइन सी डी लाइन ए बी लाइन सी डी लाइन ए बी लाइन सी डी लाइन एंड अनदर दिस वन इज ई एफ लाइन ई एफ लाइन एंड अनदर वन जी हेच लाइन जी हेच लाइन दिस आर द लाइन्स एंड अनदर क्वेश्चन रिमेनिंग इन दिस in this big any four collinear points fifth one any four collinear collinear points collinear in the sense collinear means three are more than three points are lies on same line three are more than three points lies on same line Here, listen. This is the one line in that a x m p b. These five points lie on the same line. Are those collinear? Yes. So here question is any four collinear point. I am writing here a x m p b. A x m p b. Are these collinear? Yes. Why? Because Three are more than three points. If lies on same line, then those lines are collinear. Okay, so A X M P B are the collinear points. Is that clear? Here also C Y N Q D. These also collinear. Why? Because these all points are lies on same line. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Next, coming to another question. Second one. Observe the following figure and identify the type of angles. Type of angles given some figures are there. In that first one, given a clock. Given a clock. And the time given eight o'clock. <coughs> yeah. Here question. Second bit. Given like this, twelve nine three six seven. Here the eight time is given like this, and angle shows here. Ye. <coughs> yeah, one two four five. Ten eleven. Here the question is identify the type of angle. Identify the type of angle. And uh, in that second question given like this, somewhat given like this. Here the type of angle. Listen here. One straight angle is one eighty degrees. I said to you, straight angle is one eighty degrees. Straight angle when when will happen at the time of six o'clock? At the time of exact six o'clock, then straight line will happen. At the time the angle is straight angle that is one eighty degrees. Now seven eight that means more than one eighty. More than one eighty and less than three sixty. Here the angle A is more than one eighty and less than three sixty. What is the angle? 
more than 180 and less than 360 what is the angle reflex angle so here reflex angle hope you got this okay now if the time of 6 o'clock at the time of 6 o'clock for example if you given like this here the 12 here the 6 here the straight line na? we got straight line na? straight line in the sense what's the angle here straight angle that is 180 degrees okay but here the hand moves uh, another two hours seven and eight angle asking 180 up to here 180 okay more than 180 more than 180 and totally total angle is 360 more than 180 and less than 360 that is reflex angle of this clear okay and next one here angle of this one okay perpendicular this line is perpendicular to this if both are perpendicular what is the angle 90 degrees here angle b is equal to 90 degrees that is nothing but right angle right angle okay and another one given carom board in that given angles okay look look the picture in textbook then you will get acute angle less than 90 degrees the, the angles are given less than 90 less than 90 is nothing but acute angle so third one is acute acute what is acute less than 90 degrees okay yeah <clears throat> next uh, third bit yeah here the third bit questions are a ray has no end point is that true or false a ray has no end point what is the definition of ray we have to recall third bit first question a ray has no end point actually ray is like this it has one end point okay on other side it moves uh, endlessly in specified direction yesterday given the definition it has one end point and moves endlessly in a specified direction that is called a ray but here the question given a ray has no end point no end point but it, it has one end point so given statement is false given statement is false okay and second one line a b is the same as line b a given line a b yes this is the line a b same as line b a line a b line b a both are equal here the meaning is line a b and b a both are equal is that true or false yes it's a true a b length and b a length both are same so a b line b a line both are same so it's a true and uh, hope you got this a b and b a both are same and a b line segment and b a line segment both are same and uh, third one a ray a b is the same as the ray b a yeah a ray a b a b ray like this same as the b a ray b a ray same like this here listen a b ray end point at a and moves uh, towards b in a specified direction endlessly like this a and b b a is like this b and a if not uh, here the b a are these two equal no here at a we have the end point here at b we have the end point so both are different and both directions also different okay it moves uh, left uh, right side it moves here left side if you write in a specified a b a b okay so both are not equal so given statement is false 
given statement is false. Okay, what is that? Array AB is same as array BA. That's a false statement. AB BA arrays are not equal. Okay, and fourth one. A line has a definite length. A line has a definite length. What is line? Line can be extend in both direction. Line can be extend in both direction endlessly. Then is it has a specified length? No. So listen here A here B. It extends both sides endlessly. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't has any specified length. So what's the statement given? A line has definite length. So it's a false statement. It doesn't. Next, uh, a length has uh, sorry, a plane has length, breadth, but no thickness. Yeah. Listen, this is a plane. This is a plane. It has length. It has breadth. There is no thickness. Okay. So, given statement is true. A plane has no thickness. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> next statement. Two distinct points always determine a unique line. Yeah. Take any two distinct points. Here one point, here one point. Two distinct points are there. Two distinct points are there. If you join this, it's a it's a two distinct points always determine a unique line. Yeah, it's a always unique line. Can we draw another line with a shortest distance? No. So given statement is true. Here A, B are the two distinct points. By joining these two, we will get the only one unique line. Only one unique line to join given two points A, B. So, given statement is true. And seventh one, two lines may intersect in two points. Two lines. Let's take any two lines. This is the one line and another one is the another line may intersect at uh, two points. Here the statement given. Okay. Yet how many points they can intersect? At only one point. At only one point. But given two points. So is that statement true? No. So given statement is false. Why? Why? Because two lines are always intersect at one point only one point only but given two points so given statement is wrong here two distinct points are there if you join those two you will get only one unique line given statement so it's a true two lines intersected one point only but given two points so it's a wrong next next one two intersecting lines cannot both be parallel to the same line. Yeah. What is parallel? If two lines have the no common point. If they have common point, there's a intersecting line. Okay. Now here the statement is given two intersecting lines. Yeah. These two are the intersecting lines. These two are the intersecting lines. Cannot both be parallel to the same line. Cannot both be parallel to the same line. Are these parallel? No. Parallel means there is no common point. Okay. So, given statement is true. Given statement is true. Okay. Why? Because two intersecting lines cannot both be parallel to the same line. Here listen, take any line. These two are the parallel to the this line. Okay, here, if you take this line, here only this one line is parallel to the given line. 
not to another one so statement also given same meaning so given statement is true okay hope you clear next what is the angle between two hands of the clock when the time is nine o'clock yeah at the time of nine o'clock what is the time what is the angle between two hands yeah now listen in a clock total how many hours are there 12 hours clock is in the shape of circle for 12 hours circle means total angle is round the clock how round the clock 360 degrees listen here the clock circle nothing but round the clock total is 360 degrees that means for 12 hours 360 degrees 12 hours 360 degree for one hour how much that means 360 by 12 12 three times and zero 30 degrees so we can write for one hour 30 degrees for one hour 30 degrees why because yeah round the clock we have the 12 hours for 12 hours 360 degree for one hour how much so 360 by 12 nothing but 30 degree per hour here the question is at 9 o'clock at 9 o'clock what is the angle 9 o'clock in the sense time is like this Nine o'clock. Okay, I am doing here. Nine, three, six, twelve. Like this. Nine o'clock. This is the nine o'clock. After that, we have the ten, eleven, twelve. Three hours. The angle between hour end and minute end is uh, three hours are there okay for one hour 30 degrees for three hours 3 into 30 nothing but 90 degrees so at your nine o'clock the angle between hour and and minute hand is 90 degrees 90 degrees okay and the remaining is 270 this is the 90 and here 270 degrees and the second question is in that Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. <clears throat> Listen. Uh, Twelve, six, three, nine. At the time of six o'clock, the hands will be like this. hands will be like this what is the angle six o'clock okay the hours are gap between one two three four five six six hours we know that for one hour the angle is 30 degree for six hours six into 30 that is 180 degree nothing but here straight angle yeah right straight angle Here we can write uh, 90 degrees is no? right angle. Okay. And last question in this <clears throat> 7 pm at the time of 7, 7 pm. What is the angle? Okay. Listen. Here the 6, 7, 8. 9 12 7 pm okay listen totally 7 hours so 1 hour equal to 30 degree 7 hours 7 into 30 that is uh, 210 degrees the angle between minutes hand and hours and is 
to 10 degrees okay hope you got this and uh, <clears throat> next uh, okay by this problem exercise of 1 4.1 is completed okay next uh, another topic uh, yesterday we discussed the linear pair of angles and uh, angles uh, in intersecting line also okay and uh, one more thing if two lines are intersecting intersecting now how many number of intersecting points one intersecting points let us take uh, angle 1 angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 here for 1 and 2 this line is uh, this line is a uh, common arm so 1 2 are the adjacent angles and uh, sum of 1 2 is uh, 180 degrees then linear pair angles okay up to that clear here another thing is 1 and 3 these are the opposite 2 and 4 opposite so angle 1 angle 3 angle 2 angle 4 are the vertically opposite angles and those are same vertically opposite angles vertical opposite angles are same okay and uh, angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees and uh, angle 3 plus angle 4 equal to 180 degrees and we can write angle 2 plus angle 3 also 180 angle 1 plus angle 4 also 180 okay and here vertical opposite main theme is vertical opposite what is vertical opposite if two lines are intersecting angle 1 angle 3 these two are the vertical and angle 2 angle 4 are the vertical these are equal these are equal angle 1 equal to angle 3 angle 2 equal to angle 4 okay we'll do the problem on this vertical opposite angles in next class hope you got this okay students thank you thanks for watching We'll meet in next class. Thank you.